Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some penguin nails. I have got Take Me to Mykonos and Perfect White from Madame Glam. It's a gorgeous blue and obviously a white one. I'm gonna be using these penguin decals from Nail Sugar. These were available last year, but I never actually got around to using them. So I think I might use, I don't know, one of these. <laughs> anyway they're so cute and i'm also going to use the peacock glitter from nail sugar you can save 10 percent on nail sugar items using my code natmug10 you can also save 50 percent all november on madam glam um stuffs using my code natmug50 but if they've got a sale on the code won't work but try it anyway because you never know anyway um i'm gonna start by applying a coat of white to two of the nails i'm gonna pop that in the lamp and cure it and i'm gonna do two coats then I'm going to grab um, Take Me to Mykonos and I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. And then what we're going to do is take our ombre brush and I'm going to start. We're actually going to do this on two nails. So this, I think we are, I think we are anyway. I'm getting confused between these ones and another blue and white set I've not long done. <laughs> Right, so the blue goes at the top, white goes at the bottom, like it's the sky and the snow. And then all I'm going to do is use my Madame Glam Ombre brush just to blend them together. Now, this is the first coat, so it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over with a second coat. So it's going to cover a lot of the first coat. So just get it kind of decent looking and then pop it in the lamp. Also, it doesn't actually have to be blended immaculately. Sometimes when I do ombres like this, I don't mind if there are a little bit of uh, like blue and white lines, you, you know what I mean? Um, so pop that in the lamp and then I'm going to show you me doing the second coat. I think the blue this time I put a little bit more of the dark blue on than the white, than what I did the previous coat. But it doesn't matter, I think. Maybe I didn't. Hmm, who knows? I don't really know. Anyway, right, look again. I'm gonna, when I, if I feel like I've got too much product on my ombre brush, I just squeeze the excess product out of the brush using a, a limit free wipe. But I would clean the brush with base coat, like if you wanna give it a proper clean. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm doing exactly the same as what I've done on the first coat. Um, just sort of flicking the product backwards and forwards. I bring the brush up and down ever so slightly and then once I'm relatively happy, I then bring the brush all the way down and off the bottom of the nail. And then as you can see, I'm just starting again. You can do it with a sponge and acrylic powder. If you've not seen me do that, then uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. It, I think the sponge is probably a little bit more takes a little bit longer than doing it the way I've just done it but you just do whatever works better for you so on this nail I am at an angle I'm gonna add some very thick blue lines it's kind of let me just think what am I doing with this nail I just I, just, I can't think in my head actually let me just grab my my pad that I drew the design on. Uh, where is it? Oh, right, yes, this is gonna be the sweater nail. So thick blue lines, I'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure it. And then I'm gonna, look, I'm just adding some white on my palette because we're gonna need that on the palette. And then I'm gonna add white between the blue. And I am curing so that the two colors don't, sometimes if, like if a wet gel polish meets another wet gel polish, sometimes the colour runs. So I don't want that to happen. I want the I want the lines to be pretty like what's the word? Pretty flush. Pretty sharp. Sharp. I want nice sharp edges. You know, or as sharp as you can get. Just keep them nice and straight where the colours meet. Okay. So it looks like a candy cane, sort of, but it's not, it's blue and white. But once I'm happy, I'm going to pop that in the lamp. And then again, I will do two coats of that. Excuse my poorly finger. Okay, going back to this nail. 
I am going to add on some curvy, some curvy stripes. This time they are going to be a lot finer. Um, and I'm doing these in the opposite direction to the the thick straight lines. So if you look, if you can look in the top left hand corner there, can you see the lines go from bottom left to top right? This time I'm going like top right down, no, top left down to bottom right. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And these are more curved. So these are more, definitely more candy caney. Um, I'm leaving a gap between them because I want to add some glitter. Yee, I love the glitter. I love the glitter. Uh, also, I kept this video a little bit longer than usual because someone commented on a video and said that they liked the long videos. They would like longer videos. So I thought, right, I'll try it on this one. And if it gets a little bit too boring, just let me know and I will yeah so I'll try and do a few more like longer length videos like maybe sort of up to 20 minutes ish it's just if I can drag it out long enough you know <laughs> right look I've grabbed my decals again I'm gonna cut out the one that I want I like the one with the little earmuffs so I'm gonna cut him or her out and I'm gonna cut off a lot of the excess from around the actual penguin then I will place the decal upside down on my stamper and I will wet the back. And then after like several seconds, look, the backing comes off. And because we're going to stamp on white, because it's transparent, but we're going to stamp on white. So it doesn't matter. Sometimes if you are going to, if you're going to stamp this on a darker color, you might just want to fill the penguin in with some white gel polish, but keep the gel polish nice and thin and then cure it before you stamp it onto the nail. This is Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat. I absolutely love their Velvet Matte Top Coat. It is my favouritest top coat ever. All the nails are going to be matte. Sorry for those of you that like shiny. If you do like shiny, you can make it shiny if you want to recreate these. It's absolutely no problem whatsoever. Or do whatever your client wants. Right, this was No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to put a little bit of this onto my palette because we are going to sugar this with our glitter on this nail. So we're going to finish this off. I'm going to do lines between our lines. I tried to make these thinner, but the the curved lines in blue that I done, I actually, if I were to do this again, I would have made them slightly thicker because I wanted the glitter to be thinner than the gel polish lines, but obviously I don't think that's going to work out that way, but it still looks cute in my opinion. So look, we've got our top coat on. We're not going to cure it, sprinkle it with glitter. The glitter will then stick to the uncured no wipe top coat. And then once we pop that in the lamp to cure, the, the glitter that's in the top coat will literally be stuck to the nail. And then you can brush off your excess. I don't know why I used a soft brush. Use a hard brush and it gets off all the it gets off all those little annoying bits, you know, that will annoy your client. It will just get all those off. Look, and we've got, look, I love it. It's so nice. It's so pretty. Right, moving on to the next stage. So, we are going to do a, like a colour block sweater nail. I've kept this at normal speed to show you what I'm doing. So, imagine, like, where the line, right. Imagine the line was straight, but you're going to add some, I don't know what you want to call them, oval shapes like this, right? So they're going one way, and then you're going to take some more gel polish, and you're going to do some more oval shapes going back up this way. So they're going to look like, sort of like unconnected V shapes. You with me? I hope you are. This bit might be the boring bit. I've sped it up again, right? We're speeding up now. This is times two. So I'm going to show you what I've done on this nail. And I'm going to show you it all because then you kind of get the gist, right? We're only going to, we're going to do the blue bits first. You can do the whole thing. 
but I'm gonna do a blue section, a white section, and then, or do I do both white sections? And I don't know. But if you want to, if you're not very confident in doing this, just do like a section at a time, okay? Don't go mad and do the whole thing if you're not confident. Right, don't cure that. I'm gonna sprinkle it with clear acrylic. So what's happening here is that gel polish, as I speak, is sucking up that acrylic powder. I just tap off any excess and then I will I'll watch and see if the gel polish starts to go shiny it means it can suck up some more acrylic so I'll just sprinkle some more on right just have a look see if it's shiny it's still a, bit, a little bit shiny in patches and then I'll keep doing that until it stays matte and then I'll pop it in the lamp and give it a cure brush off the excess acrylic powder like I'm doing here and we've got our little v shapes a little v shapes right so now i'm going to do the white bits but you see where we're doing it it actually is the same way isn't it it's like a so one where uh, how do i explain this where one line goes up and then the next line goes down and then this next line goes up and then this next line goes down so it kind of goes in a zigzag that makes sense and it follows on from blue into the white but it, right here, I'm just marking out my where my ovals are going to go. I thought that would be a lot easier. And then I'm going to make them oval. I'm going to make them a lip. I'm going to make them more oval, and you'll see. Hang on, see, ta-da! So again, I'm going to sprinkle that. So it's like a color block sweater because I've never done one like that before. Right, once you've done that, <coughs> you're going to do the whole nail. And then cure the acrylic and then rub off the my brain's gone dead rub off the excess there we go and then that is your like your sweater nail done it kind of reminds me of a sock as well yeah right we're gonna do this now now okay so we're gonna use madame glam's no i was gonna say no what top coat it's not it's madame glam's gel paint and the gel paints do not have a tacky layer so you can use them on top of top coated nails which is great because I, I love that so on this nail i'm going to do a snowflake coming onto the top half of the nail and it's only going to be like half a snowflake and this snowflake i'm going to do wood if you could see the whole thing it would have six snowflake arms snowflakes in real life only have six arms i didn't know that until I want to say last year but it might have been the year before in fact it might have been a lot there was i didn't i didn't know snowflakes only had six arms until i started doing nail art and i you know i learned something new uh, right so this one as you can see between the i'm going to call the lines the arms right the bits that come out from the center of the snowflake they are going to be like they're going to be those lines are going to be called arms so i've done a little triangle connecting the arms together and I am making this triangle wide, wide-ish, so that, do you see? It's almost looking like a star, but it's not because it's the wrong shape for a star. But you see what I mean? Oh, my tummy just gurgled. I don't know why, because I'm not hungry. Perhaps it was because I've just eaten. Mm, probably. Okay, so you just fill it all in. You could make them as thick as you want. I wanted them thicker than like just a line, but not too thick. I mean, there is quite thick, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> there we go. Right. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this next bit pretty simple. I'm just going to do the lines coming out of the arms of the snowflakes. I'm going to do like two arms, no, two, two, two lines coming off of the, of each arm. I feel like I need to burp now, but that's terribly rude if I burp. So I'm not going to burp. I mean, I probably will burp, but not during the voiceover. I feel a bit gassy. I'm full of hot air. <laughs> right, yeah. So you can see this. This is this is really easy. This is like a kind of okay. The triangle bits may be a little bit difficult, but this part is like an easy snowflake. Right. Once I've done all of those. I am then going to grab a dotting tool and using the dotting tool, I'm just going to add some tiny little dots to the ends of each of the lines because I thought this looked quite cute. Because it's a big snowflake, you can add 
a bit more like sometimes when the, the snowflakes are really small it's difficult to add detail on because everything is so small and squidged together but because this one's bigger i would also add one on the end there we go see do i add some more oh no right yeah i'm gonna add two little dots here and i'm gonna make those i don't know whether these are gonna be like stars or maybe where the lights like hit a little bit of snow and perhaps it's the snow that's got a little bit of sparkle to it i don't know i'm gonna also add some more little dots so these could be snowflakes or they could be stars i initially went for stars but i was like no i don't want them to be stars so i started just adding more dots everywhere to make it look like snow a bit more snow like but just do you know do whatever you want and once you're happy pop that in a lamp for 60 seconds okie dokie artichokey right i have got preciosa crystals i love these so much this color is blue zircon and this color is blue sapphire and then i have also got clear give them a little bit of a shake shimmy 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 these are the clear ones so the preciosa crystals that i use are from crystal parade and you can save 10 percent on anything on crystal parade's website using my code natmug10 also this crystal fix is available from crystal parade so i wanted to do something again a little bit more easier than complicated um hang on a second oh i just feel like i needed a good good sniffing uh, you know like oh i just i feel I, it's weird like for the last week or so i felt a little bit under the weather like and you know when you, you think you're gonna wake up in the morning with a full-on like a full-on fat cold or something and i wake up and i'm like oh i feel fine um it's very it's very bizarre i think it's probably just just my body getting used to the colder weather it's yeah oh right anyway back to these nails uh where was i yeah we're gonna add crystals on so i put my crystal fix on in like an arch shape and we're basically gonna do a bit of a crystal border but the top part we're doing more of a, a you know like when it, actually it's not quite a crystal cuff um but I'm, I'm i'm putting the crystals on in an arch and i'm using a mixture between the sapphire blue the blue zircon and and the clear because the the glitter had a bit of a kind of turquoise look to it so i thought right we'll add some of the blue zircon crystals because they look a little bit more turquoise than blue and then look these are caviar beads so anywhere where I've put those, like the crystals that I've put on the top is kind of in a scatter pattern. So there might be some tiny little gaps between the crystals. So I'm just going to use the caviar beads just to fill in any little gaps. And I know it's difficult for you to see because my phone it doesn't want to... I'm moving quickly and it doesn't seem to want to focus on the crystals. So I'm going to just flip forward. But that's, yeah, that's basically it really. Um, I've popped that in the lamp to cure um, just so that nothing keeps moving but I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom so we're just going to again look fill in where we've added the crystal fix the crystal fix is kind of our guide to where we want the crystals and again just do like a scattering with um, like a mixture of the different colours and then once I'm happy it looks something like this I've also added caviar beads as well to the bottom. So we've kind of got like a crystal border. That's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that is, that's them, that's them done. I'm going to show you a close up. Ta-da! I really like these. I think the penguin is super cute. But if you did like this video too, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. The websites and the discount codes I will leave below for you. But God bless. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.